It's loud, huh? All of this is interconnected. One, one node like this is like 10 laptops, 10 good laptops. We have a total of about 2,000 such nodes. So the current system that, that you saw in there contains 80,000 cores of CPU compute. 80,000 cores. Imagine a laptop having only about four cores. It's one of the fastest supercomputers in Canada, and now it's about to get a big upgrade. This system, called Niagara, is operated by the University of Toronto. It's housed in the GTA, but its exact location is kept a strict secret. However, the university agreed to let us in to have a look. It's been running about seven years now, and that's old in computer time. And now, thanks to $52 million in funding, work has started to build a whole new system in the space this one rests now. The team explaining we should think of this as less of an upgrade and more like a rebuild. New cables, new switches, new everything. Uh, new power connections and new plumbing. That's, that's one of the crucial things. If it was just take out a node and put a new one in with, with you know, newer processors, but we can't, right? This is a whole new system. This is where we supply the power for the computers. These are the switches that are currently interconnecting all my, all my compute systems. Part of the challenge, to complete the rebuild with no downtime for researchers. That means deconstructing the old computer gradually, only taking on projects the system can handle with its increasingly reduced capacity. Simultaneously, the new computer will be built in the newly freed up space, gradually taking on larger and larger tasks until it's completely replaced its predecessor. This will all be replaced, and this will all be replaced by the new systems. And these are a bunch of switches for the new system. They just arrived. The new system, to be called Trillium, will be three times more powerful than the one here now. All that computing power available for free to academic researchers across the country, often working in partnership with other institutions or industry to solve some of the most daunting problems facing healthcare, transportation, aerospace, AI, and more. Any type of research that involves computations, that, involve, that you need a computer for, that you want to scale up to a massive scale that you can't do, on your personal laptop or even you know 10 laptops put together like this is where you want to put it this upgrade being described as a significant increase in computing capacity for the country are we do we have enough i think the short answer is no i think we still need more uh, we are we are still catching up i think to the rest of the world the funding for the project is coming jointly from the federal and provincial governments this is also not the only Canadian supercomputer receiving an upgrade. Similar work is also happening at the system housed with the University of Waterloo. Both projects combined running about $95 million. For City News, I'm David Zura.